self-watering pots have a few pros and cons that are worth understanding. What happens is that the roots draw up water from a reservoir below the pot. The idea is that you don't need to water so often and it encourages the roots to grow down through the pot. It's a great solution if you're going away on holiday. However, one drawback is that it's hard to know what the moisture levels in the soil is like. If the soil is dry but there's water still in the reservoir, it's likely that the plant is too small for the pot and the roots are failing to reach down far enough. Remedy this by watering from the top and tip out the excess that drains through. However, if the soil is still staying wet, you'll need to restrict the amount of water in the reservoir. Perfect plants for self-watering pots include ferns and African violets that prefer water well away from their leaves. However, they will need a good soak every now and again to clear the excess mineral and fertilizer buildup. Avoid using plants that like to dry up between waterings, such as succulents, dracaenas, and anthuriums. In general, self-watering pots need fertilizing more often as the constant moisture breaks down the water-soluble nutrients quickly. To help with this, you could use slow-release fertilizer pellets. Thank you.